All good, mate. Ready to go? Let's get this parcel pirate special on the road. All good. Dispatch, this is train five, ready to leave San Bernardino. ZSDGELP605, clear to go when you're ready. On the move, train five out. So you're ready for a long trip? I'm all set. I packed myself a good lunch for today. Got your water? It's going to be a bit hot. Water and a little bit of lemonade. That seems fair. How, how about you? What did you bring? Oh, I brought coffee, 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 more coffee, a bit of orange juice, <laughs> maybe some water. Big bag of licorice. Oh, that's going to be a delight. Yeah. You know there's only one <laughs> toilet on this thing, right? Well, I'm sure we can take turns. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. It is. Nice early morning light. Good to get going on a trip. Makes you want to go out there and take photos, doesn't it? It really does. Would be a perfect day for a nice hike. Too bad we got to work, huh? Well, it's a great job to have. The view can't be beat. It is a nice office, that's for sure. Think we're going to get any rain? It's California. Well, we can always pray. I, you never know what might happen. <laughs> I'm probably more likely to catch fire. Knock on wood. I don't see any, though, so... Just think about it. Yeah, no smoke today. But California has definitely turned into Australia. Just a bit. You have anything going on this weekend? Yeah, yeah, a few things happening. It's a bit of a contrast to this thing, learning how to fire steam engines. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. How'd you get started with that? I don't know. I just felt like getting really hot and really dirty and covered in grease and oil, and it just seemed a natural thing from there. My hobbies usually involve air conditioning. Uh, you wouldn't like a steam cab then. 50 degrees Celsius in winter and about 70 degrees Celsius in summer. Good gracious. Out in the elements. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're sitting on top of a fire that's at about 1,200 degrees and a boiler that's boiling at about 200 degrees. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be toasty. Oh, yeah. Nice and warm. So what's your favourite part of this route? I think actually getting over the top of Cajon Pass because it's always a little bit stressy going up and down the pass. It's some of the steepest mainline railway. It's always a little bit hard to control. You never know what might happen. As long as we're prepared. Ah, we should be. It's amazing how quickly it transitions out of flat into the mountains. I always feel sorry for the cars having to take the long route 
stop and go and stop and go. Yeah, it is more fun on the rails. Just power up, put it in run eight, keep on going. The hill will take its toll though. We're not going to keep up this fast pace for very long. As soon as we start going upgrade, it's going to slow down to about 25 mile an hour if we're lucky. Maybe you could get out and run beside the cab. That's one way of getting fit. <laughs> You've got a big red brake handle. If I do that, you can just yank it. I don't think I'll see it if that comes around. I'm sure you'll be able to keep up. There we go. We're already hitting the gradient now. Speed's starting to drop. It's those long grades that get you. Wear on the endurance. And this one is a whopper. Well, at least it's a beautiful day to be out. Yeah. We can travel Route 66 by train. Not many people can say they can do that. No kidding. Maybe we should stop for a burger. Now there's a plan. <laughs> That's what I should have brought for lunch. Then where are you going to heat it up? There's a hot plate. True. If you were in the steam engine, you could just put it right in there. Disappear. Maybe. Yeah. We do have a thing that's jokingly called the hob, though, which is a little tray over the top of the firebox. You can cook eggs and bacon. What are you making there? Oh, that would be delicious. Yeah. Keep You're me. making me hungry. You can keep your coffee pot on it. I need a snack. You can keep your uh, bottles of oil on it to keep them warm so they're not too thick. Don't mix it up with your coffee, though. It doesn't taste real good. I don't know, some of those people make that coffee with the coconut oil in it now. It's supposed to be pretty good. Wow, coconut oil. It's like drinking yeah. suntan lotion. But apparently it cures everything, so... Ah. Modern snake oil. <laughs> the weird things people come up with, huh? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yep. And the gradient's really starting to bite now. Sure is. All this horsepower. At least there's no traffic. Yeah, you don't see a lot of other trains on Cajon Pass. You see the occasional one pass you. But most... Do you know what we're pulling today? We are pulling an intermodal freight with about 15,000 tonnes. It's the kind of thing that Amazon parcel thieves love to get their hands on. I don't see them around here, not yet. Well, it's a bit hard for them to get on at 30 mile an hour. True. Oh, what a cute little neighborhood. Yeah, imagine living this close to the railway with these things roaring past 24 hours a day. Oh no, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. The ambient noise, it's soothing. Yeah. It's like trying to sleep in one of those railway hotels when there's a diesel park next to it going... <laughs> the entire night. Well, if you get in the right frame of mind, it can be relaxing. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> oh, well, coming under the highway now, this sort of marks the beginning of our exit from town. It's good to get out of the city. This is true. I don't think anybody's ever too unhappy about leaving Los Angeles behind. It's a great place to be from. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to get so much hate mail from people from LA. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You've got a valley girl on the feet with you. There you go. I was born and raised in Agora Hills. 
is a scary concept. <laughs> like I said, it's a great place to be from. Congratulations on your escape. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and the wind will stay gentle today, keep things cooler. Oh, I don't think we'll get too much wind. We're not even going to get too much cloud. A little bit, not too much. Oh, we're coming up on the defect detectors. These are always fun. What do you reckon this guy's doing parked on the side of the road here? It's a strange place to park. Now let's hope he's pressing pennies. I bet he's pressing pennies to get the one of his kids. Oh, man. As long as there's nothing bigger than that. I don't really want to put it in the dirt. No. It's pretty long. We haven't heard from that detector yet. No. Well, like you said, we're hauling a lot. It's a big one. Oh, here's the second set of detectors, and we still haven't heard from that first set. NFM detector, milepost 89.2, main 2, hot. Journal right side axle four seven total axle six four six. We got a hot one on this hill. This is going to be fun. Eight nine point two. Main two. Yeah, we got a hot one. All right. Journal right side axle one four seven total axle six four six. Out. I'll start bringing it to a stop. I hope I'm clear of that road or they're going to hate us. Well, you know which one of us is going outside, yeah? You better tell that guy who thinks he's in charge. Oh, I will. Here we go. Dispatch, this is train 5 at milepost 89. We got an indication of hot box from the detector. We are stopping on the main to check it. Dispatcher understood, advise intentions of you, check it out. Wilco, out. Three points, please mate. Three points. Take that handheld. The walk isn't too bad. Axle 47 on my side. Watch out for snakes. Give me a call every now and again just so I know you're safe out there. It's hot today. Lucky you in this air-conditioned box. It's awful out here. You could cook an egg on this thing. I'm gonna leave the door open for you. Waiting for you. Whatever, mate. Enjoy your fridge. I'm passing five. Okay, so far.
I'm passing card 10. Can't see anything yet. I'm at 19. One of the brake blocks is skewy and is rubbing on the wheel. The wheel's hot, but the journal is okay. I reckon the detector caught the hot wheel. Can I cut out the brakes in this car and release its brakes? There are two other cars cut out in this set already, but yeah, mate, we've got enough to hold it on the hill. Go ahead and cut out. I'll cut out the car and release the brakes. Hang on. I'll try to get the block. I can't get back into the hangar, so I've pulled it out. It's stuffed anyway, worn almost all the way through. I'm leaving it there. Righto, mate. Good day. Get back up here and watch out for aliens. You know they love these hills. <laughs> Conductor ever noticed the 66 on that hill? Yeah, once or twice. You know, like I said before, I tried to figure out the history of it, but couldn't ever figure out when it did it. But I reckon aliens did it. And now you've made me think about hamburgers. I'm starving. I could really go for an in and out right about now. Ah, oh, that'd be a good idea. You could meet Tracy there. That'd be a good time. Yeah. Just catch the bus. <laughs> Maybe we could take a train. Dispatch, this is train five on main two, mile post eight nine. We had a rubbing break. It's released and the car is cut out. We'll drop it out at Victorville for inspection. We'll try and lift when the boss gets back up here. Understood. You have resolved the problem and you'll be on the move soon. Let me know when you're on the way and good luck. Get moving on, the, on that grade. Oh, Victorville. It's always so hot up there. Yeah, the only exciting thing in Victorville is the cement plant. <laughs> How's that long walk going? I'm getting my steps in. My Fitbit's having a field day. Surprised it hasn't melted. Same. I hope you have the water ready when I get back. Oh, I've just drunk one for you right now. Uh-huh. How generous of you. Yeah. I'll always try and be helpful. <laughs> Save some for me. Look both ways. Just like Mama taught me. Mama was smart. Three points released. Three point released. Thank you. I talked to dispatch already. If we get moving, call dispatch and tell them we're on the go. We're going to drop that POS off at Victorville. Put a water on your desk. Take a load off. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, let's see if this pumpkin can lift itself out of the hole. You know it was a carriage before midnight. Yeah, and I wear glass slippers. That water is good. I needed that, thank you. Welcome.
here we go. Once again, dispatch, this is train five on main two at milepost 289. We are on the move. I hope the local crew can keep the parcel pirates out of there. We'll let you know when we're over the summit. Train five out. To train ZSDGELP605 on the move. I will be stopping you on the main at Victorville. You drank that quick. A bit hot out there, mate. Hmm. Roasting. Can't wait till we knock off this ferry. Hope the pool is clean and the AC working at that flea bag hotel they always put us in. I could use a soak. Hell yeah. A couple of beers and a swim would be perfect. I hope you remembered your suit this time. Drink cactus Drink juice. Drink cactus juice. And that's it. <laughs> oh my god, Paul. <laughs>